Good afternoon. Um, I'm Pietro Bernasconi, the mission scientist of the uh, GUSTO Mission of Opportunity. Uh, GUSTO st stands for uh, Galactic ULDB, which is an acronym for Ultra Long Duration Balloon, a stat uh, Spectroscopic Stratospheric Hertz Observatory. It's, uh, uh, Chris Walker is the PI of the mission from the University of Arizona, and uh, there's a long list of uh, partners. Uh, um, I am from the APL, and we are responsible for uh, the uh, observing platform, while the of Arizona is the PI institution responsible for uh, putting together all the components to build the instrument itself. Um, what GUSTO is about is about studying the uh, uh, life evolution of uh, the uh, uh, interstellar medium in the galaxy. Uh, there is a, a cycle of the interstellar medium that starts from the warm, neutral, uh, uh, ionized gas that forms then hydrogen clouds, it goes to formation of molecular clouds, and uh, then you have star formation in those clouds, and then the stars evolve and might explode or um, evolve in different ways and create, uh, disrupt the molecular clouds and then you go back to the ionized gas. And for each stage of this uh, uh, cycle here, uh, you have a molecule that you can uh, um, study to, uh, to really study this, uh, this cycle. And the, uh, the most important is uh, nitrogen-2, carbon-2 that are uh, present throughout the cycle and there's also oxygen. And what our mission wants to do is to uh, observe these molecular lines, uh, these, uh, these uh, spectral lines, and, uh, and therefore gain uh, insight in this uh, uh, cycle. So the mission goal for uh, GOSTO is to better understand the nature of the uh, fine infrared universe by probing the topology and the ecology of this interstellar gas through the Milky Way and also in nearby galaxy. We're going to also look at the Large Magellanic Cloud. So these are uh, our goals are to study the life cycle, to start forming clouds in the galaxy, determine uh, what are the parameters that affect the star formation rate, and we're going to probe the physical conditions and dynamics of the gas in the galactic center, and we want to provide a Milky Way and Large Magellanic Cloud templates for the star formation for the galaxies. Um, what we want to do is to take spectra for, on these uh, three spectral lines, carbon-2 at uh, 150 microns, oxygen-1 at 63 microns, and nitrogen-2 at uh, 25 microns, and create maps both of the, uh, of the Milky Way and also the Large Magellanic Cloud. Uh, now, the, our balloon missions, uh, if we fly a, st a standard balloon mission, hopefully after 45 days, we can uh, probe this part of the galaxy, but um, we really want to fly this uh, ultra long duration balloon that is a uh, uh, capability that NASA is uh, starting to uh, provide uh, right now. It's kind of still in the infancy. They have started for a long time to provide uh, this kind of balloons, but only uh, in recent years uh, they had success. And so we want to find one of these balloons that you can fly for 100 days, and so we will be able to probe the entire galaxy. Um, and together also we want to look at the Large Magellanic Cloud. And so uh, on all, each of these uh, three lines, we're going to get uh, um, line of sight spectral lines, and uh, we will uh, take probably 100,000 or more uh, of those uh, spectra. And nowadays, with the current missions, uh, you have only a handful of spectra at a very low uh, spatial resolution. Uh, the spatial resolution that we will achieve is about 50 arc seconds, while nowadays it's around uh, 3 arc minutes. And also the velocity resolution is better than 1 kilometer per second. Um, this is just to show what, uh, uh, what improvement we're going to see with, uh, uh, with Gusto. Uh, this is a, a, a simulation on what, uh, of the galactic plane uh, near uh, the galactic longitude 304 degrees. This is what we know now at about 3 degrees spatial resolution. And with Gusto, we're going to improve dramatically the spatial resolution. We're going to be able to see single clouds. And of course, we're going to have the third dimension, the, uh, the spectrum on each uh, of these uh, clouds. Um, well, our uh, instrument is, is, a, is a, we have a one meter telescope of axis, uh, and uh, we're going to observe these uh, three spectral lines. Um, and for each spectral line, we're going to have 16 uh, heterodyne mixed array pixels, and uh, with uh, some uh, with a 
spectrometer with, with digital correlators to uh, resolve this uh, spectrum. And um, uh, we're going to use the cryogenic system because these uh, detectors need to be cooled at uh, 4 Kelvin to have their sweet spot. So we're going to have a cryogenic system that's going to allow uh, the detectors to be at 4 Kelvin for uh, um, 100 days or more. We have actually baseline for about uh, 120 days. And we're going to use these new balloons that uh, NASA is just uh, um, in the process of uh, certifying these zero pressure uh, balloons that can fly 110,000 feet for up to 100 days. Uh, the observing platform is, is this uh, we call gondola. Uh, this is about uh, 15, 15 feet tall, and we're carrying this one meter opacity telescope with uh, a cryogenic uh, door, uh, which um, I think is like 60 liters of uh, uh, liquid helium, and uh, we have huge solar arrays uh, so that we can uh, provide power throughout the mission. Um, we're going to fly from Antarctica. Uh, NASA is launching currently uh, balloons uh, every every year, uh, two or three payloads uh, every year from uh, McMurdo. And uh, in the Antarctic summer, uh, the wind and the stratosphere are such that you can have an orbit that's about circular around the South Pole, and uh, it takes about uh, 20 days, 15, 20 days to circle. So we're planning to circle around the pole for as long as possible, and then eventually. Uh, uh, with the 100 day mission, we're going to drift off the continent and uh, the payload will be recovered uh, in Argentina or in Australia. Um, and uh, Gusto is actually will be the successor of a, a mission that we are currently uh, about to fly. It's called the Stratosphere Observatory. We have only uh, uh, 8 pixels right now uh, on this system. Uh, the gondola is Fairly similar, we are carrying an 80 centimeter uh, telescope, uh, but pretty much all the subsystems are going to be the same that we're going to fly with Gusto, and so this is pretty much a prototype, a proof of concept, and um, we're going to launch it in mid-December, and uh, we're gonna, it's going to fly for up to 30 days in Antarctica, and um, that's why Chris Walker is not here. Him and all the all the other uh, key personnel for Gusto, they are down in Antarctica getting. Uh, this instrument ready for uh, um, for this uh, test mission.